Good afternoon. Deb Rodenbosch, Schaub here again today with K-State Alumni Association Career Services. Uh, keep in mind, we have a lot of good information to share through these Facebook Live sessions, but you'll also be able to learn a lot of great information by setting up that consult session with me. Uh, members of the Alumni Association do receive two hours of free career services here, so be sure you check into that and, and let me know if there's a time that you'd like to schedule uh, an appointment with me. So today we're going to talk about a really major question. Is it time to update? And so this is in a lot of different ways and different realms. First one question I would ask is what era of email do you use? Is it AOL, Hotmail, Yahoo? Uh, if you think about when those first came into existence, which would have been about 1993 for AOL, 96 for Hotmail, 97 for Yahoo. Um, those do give an impression of when you started using email. And, and there can be uh, some, some impressions as to age possibly or how updated you are. So something to consider is what, what email you're using. Uh, I might recommend that it be a Gmail account or a, a Outlook. Those are, those are more uh, relevant, a little newer than those others that I suggested. Another question would be, have you looked at the background image on your LinkedIn profile? When you first establish your LinkedIn profile, you're assigned that same standard background that LinkedIn always uses. For instance, I have a one here. It's the, this particular visual will show what that looks like. So in order to be updated and to really give a better impression of what you're all about and, and uh, the, the overall look that you want to have, you may consider something uh, like this particular one that I've used just recently on my own personal LinkedIn is indicates some flowers and they're purple and it's K-State and it's a photo of me in front of the K-State uh, Alumni Association building in front of the Alumni Center. So make that LinkedIn profile really a good impression of who you are uh, and what you want to project in your business image. Another question would be, are you using that really long address which is assigned to you by LinkedIn? It has lots of numbers, sometimes some letters. You are able to very easily personalize and tailor that address so it's not so long. And that's especially helpful if you're including your LinkedIn address to the header name section of your resume. You don't need to have that really long address showing there. Another question you might want to ask is how recent is the photo on your LinkedIn profile? So let's say you graduated several years ago and you still have your cap and gown photo there. That really wouldn't make sense to do that because now you're appealing to business colleagues and, and your employer or potential employers. So make sure that your photo is a good professional look, uh, you're friendly, a nice headshot that has a good professional background to it. Um, and make sure it's good quality. You do not want a blurry photo or something that's taken from a, a long distance. It really needs to be a, a good photo because it's an image of you and you want to project what you're all about. Another question I might ask is what font are you using within your documents, in your job search documents? So some have even said, you'll notice a lot of articles that will say Times New Roman is considered old fashioned something to keep in mind. But some of the fonts that you really want to consider using are those like Calibri, Tahoma, Verdana. Um, they're just, they're very simple. There's no curly cues, no fancy tails on different parts of the letters, which is really important when it comes to ATS software that's on those online application systems because those can, often choke up the system and, and prevent your submission from even going through the process. Another question might be, are you up to date on your technology? Are you still using the same old PowerPoint point format and software that you did in the 90s? So just make sure that you're up to date 
might be time to take some uh, online courses or check out classes at the library or some online tutorials, but make sure you do know what are the, the new creative ways to be uh, using some of the software that's out there now, especially in the world of PowerPoints and uh, Adobe and, and WordPress and Project and some of those types of software. Another thing to consider is, is it always important to wear that full business suit to an interview? And I would say, do your homework, research the company. If you see that a company, their entire team is wearing flip-flops and shorts, and that's from top leadership to the newbies on the team, you may want to consider if that's really a, a, an appropriate time to show up in a full business suit. So do your homework, research the company, and make sure that you're going to appear in a way that's a good fit for that company. They're going to be looking for a good cultural fit, a good fit with the team that they've already been very careful in selecting and putting into place. So make sure that you're, you're coming across to that potential employer the way that is most appropriate. Uh, another question might be, are you still writing your resume in paragraph form? And that really is considered to be old-fashioned because now, and for some time, HR managers and those uh, hiring managers, they want to see those, uh, the, the information about your work experience in bullets, those relevant, uh, concise, impactful statements about your accomplishments that you've had in your past positions. They will not take time to read full sentences and long, long paragraphs. So don't go that route when it comes to the format of your resume. Uh, are you still listing hobbies within your resume? There's no reason to show hobbies. That might even be something that could show up in a way in your interest section of your LinkedIn profile. But with your resume, the only time I would say that that might be a consideration would be if it's very relevant to the position that you're considering. Let's say you're a member of an adult competition swim team and you're going to uh, apply for a position to be a swim coach in a school district. If it's something that's really relatable, then yes, that, that would come into play. So be discerning about how you use that. Have you Googled yourself lately? Google yourself and see what appears. You want to make sure that your online presence is there, it's positive, it's visible. Uh, there may be some ways for you to consider being more involved with your industry, your associations, uh, professional associations, or possibly within your community. But a lot of times media will pick those stories up and now you have even an additional element of yourself that you'll find online that really give a good background about some of the areas of interest that you have within your community. And then the last question I'll ask is, so do you only have three or four connections on your LinkedIn profile? And let's say you have created your profile maybe five or six years ago. So it's important to have those connections. HR managers, hiring managers, they do look at that and start questioning if you're, if you're technologically savvy, if you know anyone, or if you even want to know anyone. So do make sure that you update your LinkedIn profile in that way and make sure you have a good number of connections. I always think it's good to have at least 50 or more on there. Uh, you'll see different numbers that are suggested, but that's my personal viewpoint on that. Um, so those are some ways that you can consider some updates to yourself. One, I'll finish on a final note, one thing that I will say that's not old fashioned and that's ending with a thank you message, a thank you note when you had an interview. Uh, it's, a, it's a good step to take, it's important and it makes a, it makes a good impression. So that's all for today. Please let me know if you'd like to, to schedule a consult and I look forward to hearing from you and assisting. Thanks again.